shouldn't have to worry about that. I may have to cut it in here because I'm not sure where the edge is. It may just go across this section here. Yeah, I like that. Uh, I should have probably stuck to the edges more. Oh well, we've made it now. Okay, so now that we're here, I think we're now in the cloaked area, which is a problem because now I can't see what's coming up or yeah, what I have to face. So that could end up being a major problem with this trailer. But it's a challenge and I don't like challenge. <laughs> oh, I got a freaking funny story as well. Not really funny as fucking some impatient knob. I was uh, doing my driving lesson and uh, suddenly all my freak uh, clearance, you know, supposed to give way, all that shit. Obviously I didn't because I was already going through. And this impatient knob couldn't wait until I got all the way through and decided to try and squeeze past so he freaking smashed right into my wing mirror and when you learn that's not what you want to face I have to admit that did shake me up a little and I think I'm actually stuck nope I'm warming out but yeah that shook me up a little it wasn't wasn't nice to experience it wasn't actually a proper crash but it's as much as a crash as I'd like to experience But yeah, that that was uh, interesting. Luckily, I don't have to pay for the damages because obviously it wasn't my fault. And the wing mirror actually uh, didn't get damaged, surprisingly enough, because he only just started pulling away. But it still did make the car jolt a little and make me crap myself. Which then meant I swung in almost freaking hit at the side of an, a parked car, which wouldn't have been good. So, But it didn't do it. It all worked out fine-ish in the end, at least. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, but it, just, it wasn't, so that's a good thing. Uh, just so you know, this is a Saturday. So in time reference, that would be when it happened on a Saturday. Technically, it's not really a new... It's not going to be a new story when this finally gets uploaded. Because at, at the moment, it's fine. That I ha it's good that I have my own computer, because I can upload when I'm at work with my own computer. Or at night, I just have to leave the thing running, which isn't too bad. I may upload these every Saturday, just because I don't think there's anything being uploaded on the channel on Saturdays at the moment, and I haven't uploaded actually to the channel. I don't think at all. So this is my uh, my debut series, and I hope you like it. But. We'll see. We'll soon see. I'm not very. I'm not. I'm not uh, very optimistic. I don't think I'm the uh, most eccentric or uh, you know most interesting person to listen to or watch. But uh, you gotta start somewhere. And as far as I'm aware, the channel was actually partnered the other well yesterday. I think I haven't really. I haven't been on it to check it out, but I. I think it was partnered yesterday, which is uh, good for us, you know, getting a little bit of money for our videos, I'm pretty sure most of our members actually work now, apart from Shane, I think, I think Shane's the only one that's not, because he's a scrub, love you Shane, but yeah, I think he's the only one that's not working, I think, I know, yeah, I think it's I think it's Shane. Don't quote me on that. I may be wrong, but we'll see. Oh, look, speaking of Shane, there he is, playing Cry of Fear. But yeah, I was in a series recently with them. I'm not sure when that's being uploaded. I think that was supposed to be uploaded yesterday, but I think it me I think it messed up or something like that, or it just wasn't uploaded. But I think that was supposed to get uploaded yesterday, and we're stuck. Oh look, now Stevie's playing Cry of Fear. That means they're either recording or they just decided to play with each other. My bet is they're recording, to be honest. Uh, I don't know. They could just be playing. I, that's the first time I've actually seen them play that game together, though. Oh, uh, well. 
Come on, I'm going to kick it into low because it seems to be struggling here. Obviously, you can see it's struggling. Come on. Hmm. Is there a better winch point I can get? Not if I'm at that angle, it's not. I get a better. There we go, that's a better winch. I think what I actually did was beach the trailer. There. I'm pretty sure I beached the trailer, unfortunately. Which I thought I was going to have that problem along the way. Which I think it's still maybe a little beached. Which is why it's struggling. And I think I'm actually lost. Hmm. This little tree is right in the freaking way as well. Okay, let me just try and re-angle here. Crap, crap, get in there. There we go. Now let's just try and get out of here. So it looks like if I can get down this hill here, it opens up. Not a lot, but it opens up. And the first thing I encounter is mud. Great. I'm surprised we've made it this far in, to be honest. Hopefully I can uh, remove all the cloaking in this recording episode, uh, recording session. And I can uh, upload, possibly upload the first one tonight. Seeing as I'm the only one here and I'm the only one using the internet. And if I want to, if uh, yeah, I'm the only one using the internet. So technically I could just upload it now. But I'm not sure, because I'm going to try and get it up on Fridays. Possibly, because Saturdays aren't always good for me, which is unfortunate, unless I upload it over Saturday night, which means it will probably come up Sunday. But what I could do is, anyway, is just upload them and set it to a freaking scheduled upload. But I'm going to try and... I think what I'm going to do is, Saturday night... Yeah, Saturday night... Well, my brother's at his girlfriend's house, I can record then, because I'm home alone with my dad and it's quiet. And then, after that, I can then upload it during the night, because it's quiet and I'm the only one on the internet, which means it doesn't run too slow. Because one person on the internet, and yeah. Which is fine, so it may come out on a Saturday sometimes, it may come out on a Sunday, I'm not really sure. I may get it on a scheduled upload to be up even if it comes up on a Saturday, it will be up around about, I don't know, like midday on the Sunday, possibly. I'm not really sure. Oh, f pisser. I'm going to get stuck on here, ain't I? And I'm not going to find, I'm not going to be able to get a winch point. But we're going to try anyway. Trial and error. And um, this is a giant error. Yeah, it's a giant error. Well, we got a winch point. Which could be good for us. Well, which is good for us, obviously. Come on. Come on, just drag yourself over. Yeah, look at that. Freaking don't know what I'd do without this winch. Well, I'd actually been stuck ages ago, so I would have had to reset. That's what I'd do without the winch. I'll actually reset. I found the lumber yard. So, this is where I think... Yeah, this no, this is your objective. This is where you're supposed to take the lumber to. If I can get to this cloaked area, it'll be fine. I only have one cloaking area left. So I could always just repair and gong without the trailer. And technically, just leave the trailer here. So then when I do start my uh, logging run, I have a, a fueling station. Because I've just kind of... I kind of just made a route through. It's not exactly the best. I may not be able to go through there with logs on a long trailer. It may just have to be the truck alone with a little container, well not a container, it's a little thing, a little carriage on the back that should carry short logs, which will take me four journeys to do, but it does mean that it, I have less chance of tipping and a lot easier chance of getting through. What we're going to do right now though is just quickly prepare and refuel and then we're going to start, because I don't know how bad I could get through this, I may have to ditch the trailer or it may tip, so... I may have to lose it somewhere. Seeing as this is rocky and muddy and stuff. And wet, so it's not it's not the best combination here, but it's a fun combination. Oh my god, we went freaking off the trail again, it's in those trees. There is a garage here actually. So that's where I can now take the garage trailer to, to this garage here. And unlock that. 
I don't think it actually says it's a garage until I get closer though. I think it is like a hidden unlockable kind of thing. Which if it is, then that means that'll be so much easier for me, because oh my god, if I have to reset my truck to go to this objective. No, because I'm by the objective, that's not too good. Ah, I know why it's it's not coming up because it's hidden by the cloaking. It doesn't the objective comes up because obviously you can do it without the without the cloaking removed. But this is a special what the hell, I think it just crashed. No it didn't. Ah, oh, stupid what the hell is going on? Sorry about that, I didn't realise it was it stopped recording. I didn't get much further. I pretty much just got around the corner. It's freaking Norton brought up a pop up and it screwed everything up. But we're back now. Alright. Stevie Freak apparently is replaying Cry of Fear. I guess he uh, crashed or just uh, Steam. They just wants to tell me over and over. Probably just Steam being a freaking giant woman. But I don't, <laughs> I don't even know what Cry of Fear is. I guess it's well, but the sound of it, it sounds like a horror game. I could be wrong, but that's what it sounds like it should be. There we go. And now that it's removed, you can actually see the garage. There's also fuel right here, so that is a better garage to use. Unfortunately, I just have to... Well, actually... Like, if I can get... That's not too bad. I'll just have to take the lumber up here. If I follow this road down, I guess I can link up onto this. Come all the way down here. And obviously split off that way to go up there. And come down here to go there. We will see. But now that I'm in here, I think I'm actually stuck. So I'm not sure if it's worth resetting. Coming down this road here... See, if this thing was still alive, it'll be good, because that thing's freaking almost near it. Okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to reset, because I think I'm not going to get this truck out of here. And I can't be asked to try, because it's not going to happen. I'm going to try and take that little thing, because I haven't driven that hardly yet. Or I could take the little blue thing, show you that thing. That thing just sucks, though, unfortunately. Not oh, crap. Shit, I wanted to reset it. There we go. They're all rescued now. Engine broken. Okay, but it just got back. Oh well. And that thing doesn't matter to me. It's a hunk of crap. Okay, so we're going to actually just try and take this blue thing over here. Oh, no we're not. We're going to change this thing. <laughs> actually, they're going to turn around and then we're going to change. No, we're not. We're oh yeah, we can. Here, there we go. Type B130. At the moment, I have everything over the place, which is a problem, so I'm going to actually uh, change back to this, sort this thing out, take that off. Okay, there we go. I'll start the engine and get it out of the way. Just so I have a clear looking garage. That's that thing out of the way now. Move this thing. That, that sounds dirty as hell as it splutters into life. That's fucking awesome. There we go, that thing can just stay there. Change that little thing. I'm not going to drive that little thing because it does actually kind of suck. Well, I guess it's not too bad. It is fast and nippy, which is a good thing. It just sucks in the freaking mud. And we're going to use this thing. We're going to put on the chained wheels because that's obviously what it needs because it's crap otherwise. This thing only has diff lock as well. All the other trucks here have diff lock and wheel drive. This doesn't. This has chained wheels. I'm going to put on the utility. I'm going to put on the utility. No, I'm not. That's a freaking thing. Put on the carriage, I guess. On the chained wheels, and we're going to go. Put on the chuck on the diff lock, and away we go. Okay. So if we just follow this road round and get to where we were before, I'm going to plow through this. I don't care. Get out of my way. Chances are we'll destroy this thing, though, because it is very... Well, whenever I've driven it, it's prone to destroy blow up to get destroyed even. Look, just look at that though. Look, look, the back bit, that whole flatbed trailer area, 
The sides of that are flapping around, all freaking loose looking, it's just awesome. Admittedly, I do find it weird why the back doesn't seem to bounce up and down, the very back bit that's hanging down, but I'm not going to complain. Okay, so up here we go. 